All right, everybody, I'm Dr. Alec here from Upstate Spine and Sport. Obviously, we're here, Coach Eldred, and we're gonna go over some wrist mobility slash control exercises that Coach is gonna use for you guys in your programming. Today, we're gonna work on specifically wrist extension. So that's when the wrist is going backwards like so, or backwards like this. How is uh, it important for them uh, while we're playing? Yeah, so I mean, every time, obviously, you guys shoot, it's that flexion extension. <clears throat> You know, we do a lot of wrist curls, we do wrist, uh, you know, barbell extensions in the weight room, but, you know, for actually joint integrity and health, you know, cars is something I want you guys to be doing in warm-ups uh, for weight sessions, skill sessions, practice. I think you'll notice a real improvement in range of motion. Um, I'm thinking of you, Mike Bothwell. Um, so I think that's just going to really help us. And obviously this little segment here will show you why. Beautiful. Let's get it going. So we're going to start out with CARS. CARS stands for Controlled Articular Rotations. Essentially, we're just going to warm up the joint for our workout today. We're gonna have the elbow bent at 90 degrees, and then we're gonna keep our hand in almost like a ninja hand, as if you know, you're gonna slice something or just keep it nice and rigid here, okay? When we move the wrist, we only want to move the wrist. So I want you guys to actually put your iPhone on your forearm here, or what you can do is just block the forearm and make sure that it doesn't move in, out, or rotate in any way. We only wanna move the wrist, so coach is gonna block his forearm by grabbing it with that outside hand, okay? What we're gonna do is we're gonna start with this, watch the first rep and then follow along with us. We're gonna come down as much as you can with the wrist, pointing your middle finger down to the floor. Once it can't get any further, we're gonna come inside, being able to visualize and see your palm at all times, so that hand should not flip at any point. It's almost like you're drawing a big circle with your middle finger as you come in, now you're coming backwards as far as you can towards me, keeping that hand nice and straight. Now we bring the middle finger wide towards the right side of the wall. As you continue to go to the right, we come back down to the starting position. Good, we're gonna do two more reps in this direction. Slow and controlled, one mile an hour pace. Great hand integrity, keeping everything nice and stiff, fingers nice and stiff, only moving the wrist. Slowly come wide as much as you can. Try to make that circle as big as you can, but only through the wrist. No other joint is moving. Good, one more in this direction. Slow and controlled. Feel all this stuff working, bringing your hand in. Feel all this backside stuff working, bringing your hand towards you. And then feel all the outside stuff, bringing your hand towards the right side wall. And then the backside stuff, bringing you down. Once you get down here for the second rep, now we're gonna come the opposite way and we're gonna come towards the right now. And making sure we don't flip the forearm, only moving the wrist. If you had a play sheet on your palm, you should be able to read it at all times. Bring your hand back as much as you can, as much as you can, good. Now we come inwards. And we're trying to maximize the circle size at all times. Truly warm up the joint. Down, back, 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 good. Now we come Towards the right, good correction there. We come backwards as much as we can. Really pull that wrist, pull, 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 pull. Good, now we come inward and down. Very good. And one more rep in this direction. Again, nice and sturdy with the opposite hand, making sure this forearm isn't moving. Pulling the hand backwards as far as you can. In and down. Very, very good, and relax. Awesome. So now that the joint's warmed up, we're gonna get into training, okay? Remember the goal of today's uh, segment is to get better at wrist extension, and that's what we're gonna do here. So you're gonna be in that kind of um, butt to heels position. The hand's gonna be straight in front of you. And the biggest thing is that the arm's gonna be locked out and the arm's gonna be kind of at shoulder level. So I don't want it any wider, I don't want it any more inside, okay? What we're gonna do here is that I want you to pressure your hand down as if you're almost doing a follow through of a basketball shot, right? So you're pressuring your fingers down, you're pressuring the palm down, everything's going downwards into the ground, okay? How we're gonna do this is that as you're pressuring down, and I'll probably tell you we're gonna do it at 80 to 100% pressure, you're slowly gonna bring your body forward, bringing your body more into wrist extension, feeling this stuff stretch, as you continue to push her down, keeping that arm straight, once you run out of room, we slowly sit back down, okay? So we're gonna do five good reps of this. Biggest thing, arm straight, 
pressure in the hands going down. We can use that other hand on the, on the floor here to slowly bring you forward. Taking about six seconds to get as far as you can, feeling all of this stuff elongate, and then slowly sit back down. Good, three more reps here. Biggest thing, 100% pressure down. Slowly, six, five, four, three, two, one. Slowly, someone back, good. Pressure down, 100% pressure. Really, don't let me grab these fingers. Don't let me grab these fingers. Don't let me grab them, good. Continue to go through. Continue to bring your body forward until you run out of space here or that arm begins to bend and sit back down, last rep. 100% pressure, really follow through down. Push, 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 good. Arm is shaking, all that intent is there, taking the time to follow through in three, two, one, and relax. Give yourself a breather here real quick. <clears throat> I'm gonna do one more set on that right side, okay? Um, biggest thing with this, keeping this arm straight, and let's try to get eight seconds of time coming forward. So someone who is very stiff, if they can only get to here, they're gonna take a lot longer in the beginning to get there, because I still want eight seconds of tension. Someone who's super mobile, they may be able to get move a little bit faster to get to their end range, okay? All right, so pressure down 100%. Here we go, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and sit, good. Even this might be you move a little bit faster. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and sit down, good. Last three reps. Pressure, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, good. Last two here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Awesome, last one. Pressure down, feel all this stuff igniting. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and slowly relax. Very, very good. Okay, and what I want you guys to do now is go back to those wrist cars, feel if any more range of motion is now gifted to you, and go through this almost, you can rewind my playback and go through to my cueing and just make sure you're driving through that new range of motion nice and controlled by coaches here. So then now the brain makes that connection of we got this new motion, let's continue to use it. Cash!